All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go. Bet with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith with God so people here for a bit. Spiritual power. Spiritual power, yeah, yeah, that's right. Spiritual power. Being able to fly, you know? Being able to disappear, reappear. All the above, man. Spiritual power. And we're gonna hop right into it. Isaiah. Because you know, people people think it's, it's a fairy tale. It's far-fetched for me to fly. To, to soar the skies, man, you know, to run and not get weary. Look, but according to the scriptures, it's not far-fetched. According to the Bible, it's not far-fetched, man. And guess what? So what if some didn't believe? So what if some didn't believe? Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord... Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shaka. Look, that's the, that's the only thing that the God of the Bible told us to do. Preach this word and wait. Wait on that power. Wait on, don't try to take matters in, in thine own hands. Wait for that power, right? Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shaka. That's exactly what we're doing. And Lord willing, we'll continue to do that. Avaratazah. We know who they eagerly call Jesus Christ to come back. And yes, he's coming back. Lord Yahweh Shai, he's coming back. He told us to wait, right? But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Shall renew their strength, man. Okay? The strength that you used to have. The strength of King David. The strength of Samson. The strength of the mighty men of the Bible. He's going to renew your strength. The strength that you used to have, you're going to get it back. The word renew means to make a fresh. He's going to renew their strength, right? He's going to change them within the twinkling of an eye, man. The new bodies. He's going to renew their strength. And they shall mount up with wings as eagles. What do eagles do with the wings? They fly, man. And they shall run and not get weary. You can barely run out the house and run to the mailbox and run back without huffing and puffing. The God of the Bible said, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. But we're saying that the Hebrew Israelites are going to get spiritual power extraordinary power power that's out of this world nah it can't happen for a hebrew israelite nah it can happen for a so-called white man clark kent you know what i'm saying you know superman look no one didn't doubt the power that he had you know people watch dragon ball z they watch the x man oh yeah they they can believe that but when it comes to an israelite receiving spiritual power being able to do spectacular things Nah, nah, that's far-fetched. They, they want you to cast off your hope. They want you to cast down your faith. See, we have been given the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that gift. And we believe all things are possible with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that spiritual power. Oh, nah, nah, it ain't true. It ain't true. Well, look, that's what you think. We believe in the things that we don't see. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 Now faith The faith to be able to fly, right? Disappear, reappear Run without getting tired Is the substance of things hoped for This is our hope This is our faith Alright? We ain't trying to make you believe nothing This is our hope And this is our faith the Lord willing, will receive that spiritual power. The scripture told us only thing we got to do is just wait and believe. The evidence of things not seen. 
So we don't have to see spiritual power to believe in it. It's going to come though. The men of the Lord are going to get spiritual power. I just read it. In Isaiah the 40th chapter. Verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. But without faith. It is impossible to please him. And the truth of the Bible. Guess what? That's what's setting us free. Once again. They, they put a so called white man on TV. Flying around everywhere. Flying around in a cape. Doing extra, extraordinary things. Oh yeah. The whole world believed that. But let us. Um, preach according to the Bible and read coming out the Bible that the men of the Lord are going to get their strength renewed. Oh yeah, and that's far fetched right there, man. That's impossible. That, that that would never happen. Leave it up to these people. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that He is. And that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. And what's that reward for waiting on your high by Shemel Bashan? Spiritual power. Being able to fly. That's part of the reward. That new body. And it ain't far-fetched to us. We read the scriptures. Everything that we read was written for our learning, right? That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope, man. That we, the whole for elect, not the whole world. Matter of fact, let's get this Acts right quick. This is Acts chapter 28, verse 24. And some believe the things which were spoken. The Lord said, wait ye upon me. I'm going to renew your strength. Some believe the things that were spoken, right? Because they was given that gift of faith, right? And some believe not, man. So everybody wasn't given the gift of faith to believe in these words. Only the elect of the nation of Israel was given the gift of faith to believe in these words, man. That's why the scriptures say what again? Acts chapter 28 verse 24. And some believe the things which were spoken. And some believe not. The scriptures say that men of the Lord are going to mount up with wings as eagles, man. And look, guess what? And they're going to take flight. Look, and what are you people going to do in that day, man? What are you going to do in that day? Joshua, chapter 23, verse 8. But cleave unto the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh your power, your power, and none else, as ye have done unto this day. Don't lean into your own understanding. Cleave unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh right? For the Lord have driven out before you great nations and strong. But as for you, no man has been able to stand before you until this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand. That's spiritual power. But long as we say the Hebrew Israelites are going to do this one day, very soon, it's far-fetched to the world. Because the Israelite was always depicted as a nobody, as a good for nothing, as a low down, dirty shame. But we the chosen people of the Lord, what you saying? We was going to always be on the bottom? No. The Lord said he's going to renew our strength, man. Joshua chapter 23 verse 10. One man of you shall chase a thousand, man. One Israelite man is going to chase a thousand of you heathens soon come, man. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. For the Lord your power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. He it is that fighteth for you, as he have promised you. So it's going to be a beautiful thing. Look, it's, look it seems far-fetched right about them. But the scriptures tell us all things are possible with Yahweh by Shemel Shah. All things are possible. One Israelite man is going to chase a thousand heathens, man. One Israelite man is going to chase a thousand of you heathens, man. That seemed far fetched, but not to us. Not to us. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 7. And ye shall chase your enemies. And they shall fall before you by the sword. 
and five of you, five Israelite men and five of you shall chase in hundred. And in hundred of you shall put 10,000, 10,000 to flight. 10,000 Israelite men, a hundred Israelite men shall put 10,000 of you heathens to flight, man. According to the Bible, and I'm reading it straight out the Bible, man. I'm reading it straight out the Bible. The B-I-B-L-E, the good book, as you say. It's going to be bad for you, though. It's going to be bad for you. Once again, Leviticus chapter 26, verse 7. And you shall chase your enemies. Because the enemy is chasing us right about now, right? Hunting us down, shooting us down, destroying us at will. That's why the Lord said, wait ye upon me. And watch the strength that I give you. And watch the strength that I give you. And they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase in hundred. And that seems far-fetched right about now because many different directions that a hundred people can run. But five Israelite men, the elect of the nation of Israel, look, five of them, it's going to chase a hundred. And a hundred of you shall put 10,000 to flight. And your enemies shall fall before you by the sword, man. And it's going to be a beautiful thing. To see a hundred of us put 10,000 of you heathens to flight according to the Bible. Spiritual power is not real. It's not real, brother. That's what you say. Seeing is believing. See, you lack faith. We have faith. Romans chapter 15 verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. time were written for our learning. Everything that I'm reading right now was written for our learning, right? That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, the scriptures is what's giving us hope. The scriptures is what's comforting us, right? Might have hope, man. So everything that I'm reading was written for our learning, man. Samson killed a thousand. A thousand of you heathens, you Hamites, with a jaw of an ass, man. King David killed his tens of thousands, man. Abraham killed his. You know? All the men of the Lord did what they had to do, right? Joshua, he got it in. All those men are back now. And you have Bashimah said, look. Say what? You wait ye upon me and I'm going to renew your strength. The strength that you had, I'm going to renew it now. You're going to get some payback. You're going to get some revenge. Just wait on me first. So we sitting back patiently waiting on the general. You know? Lord, your how shy to come back. You know? And look, and it's going to be on and popping in that day. Let's see if you hear the say spiritual power is far-fetched when we get it. Lord willing, we have that number. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the heart, meaning the mind of man, the things which Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh have prepared for them that love him, man. Eh? Okay? And the secrets are being revealed to the prophets, man. The Lord is speaking through his men. Telling the other men, just wait on the Lord. He's going to renew your strength. You have nothing to be afraid of. You have nothing to worry about. The Lord said he's going to come and renew your strength. And look, that's, that's going to be a wonderful day. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. And it ain't too long from now. It's right around the corner. It ain't too long from now. It ain't too long from now. St. John, chapter 14. St. John, chapter 14, verse 12. 
Verily, verily. Truly, truly, right? I say unto you, this red letter, this Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who they even call Jesus, right? Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, and we do believe on Lord Yahweh Shai, we believe on all the miracles that he did. And everything he did couldn't even be recorded, man. It ain't enough books in the earth to record, record all the miracles and all the wonderful works that Lord Yahweh Shai did. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do. The Lord walked on water, the Lord disappeared, reappeared. The Lord rose people from the dead. That's right, healed all kind of people. The men of the Lord gonna get them healing powers. All right? And greater works than these shall he do. Because I go unto my father, man. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. That the father may be glorified in the son, man. Okay? This is going to be a beautiful sight to see the men of the Lord get raised up on that level. Upon our Lord and Savior, Lord Yahweh Shai. But it's far-fetched. To the non-believers It's far-fetched To the non-believers man This is why what I read earlier In Acts 28-24 Some believe the things which were spoken And some believe not These lessons that we do are only for the elect Of the nation of Israel right Revelation chapter 2 Verse 26 Red letter Lord Yahweh Shai again Who the ignorant called Jesus Revelation chapter 2 verse 26 and he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved, right? To him will I give power over the nations. To him will I give power over the nations, man. And he shall rule them with a, with a rod of iron. As the vessels of the potter shall they be broken, you heathens, to shivers. Even as I receive of my father. And, and I most definitely got to get this. Look, one thing we got to do is suffer. Suffer right now. The Lord said, look, just suffer for right now. You know, and I'm going to make you joint heirs. And I want to get that. This is Romans chapter 8. Verse 16, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. That we are the children of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. We are the Israelites, Yasha Allah. And if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs of Yahweh Shai. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together, man. All right? For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, meaning that spiritual power, man, the new bodies, man. So we suffer right now. And we get to rule over the nations with a rod of iron, man. And it's, look, 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 it's going to be a beautiful thing. And they're going to be shown up terrified, man, in that day. When these nations see the men of the Lord in their glory, they're going to be terrified. Ain't gonna be nobody talking, running their mouth. And, and, and watch when the Israelite man get that healing power. And look, our people gonna wanna get down in that day though. The scriptures tell you that, and I wanna get that right quick. We ain't got no power now. So don't all the women love the famous superstars. They got the fame, they got the fortune. Well, the scriptures I just read said, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. With your how about Shimon Shai got planned for his service, man? Okay? It's gonna be out of this world. You know? This is Psalm chapter 110, verse 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Let the men of the Lord get that power. Everybody's gonna to willing to be down, right? First thing they're gonna say is, you know, I always been down with you. I, I've been eyeballing you since the first day I met you. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, right. But let the men of the Lord get that power. Everybody's going to want to get down. You know? Once again, Psalm chapter 110, verse 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beautiness, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou has the dew of thy youth. So you wait till the men of the Lord get that power. You calling them bums. You call them all kind of, you know what I'm saying? Um, by words, proverbs, right about now. But it's going to be a beautiful thing to see the men of the Lord with that power, man. And Lord willing, I'm part of that number. Starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, we're of that number. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. Behold, I am the Lord Yahweh, the power of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? And the God of the Bible, he can make it happen, man. There's nothing too hard for you. How about Shema? He said he's going to do whatever he want to do. It's, there's nothing too hard for the God of the Bible, man. The, the power that created the heavens and the earth, man. It's going to be a beautiful thing, man. And like I said earlier, look, our people are going to see the men of the Lord with that power. Lord willing, I'm up that number. And then they want to get down, right? It's going to be too late, man. And this was setting our minds free, man. Knowing that a great day like this is coming. It's right around the corner. St. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And this is the truth of the whole matter. That the men of the Lord are going to get that spiritual power. You know, one Israelite man with spiritual power is going to chase a thousand of you heathens, man. And you will not get away. You know, the God of the Bible said, yo, those that overcome and keep his word to the end, he's going to give them power over the nations, man. And look, and, and he shall, and they shall rule them with a rod of iron, man. They're going to rule the nation with a rod of iron. And you already know what they're going to do with that rod of iron. You already know. This is Zechariah chapter 12, verse 8. In that day, when the men of the Lord get their spiritual power, shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, a people before the place. And he that is feeble, and he that is feeble, right? We got the definition for the word feeble. It's an adjective. Lacking physical strength. He that is feeble, the man that is weak, that is frail. You know? Weak. Frail. Sickly. Powerless. Right? What, what, what's going to happen? What's going to happen in that day? In that day shall the Lord defend Jerusalem. The inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day, when they get their spiritual power, right, shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as Yahweh and as the angel of the Lord before them, man. This power right there, man. This unspeakable power, man. David killed his tens of thousands, man. They said the men that are feeble in that day, when the Lord gives them power, they're going to be as King David, man. Right? And the house of David shall be as Yahweh. Look, as the angel. And look, one angel can destroy this whole earth, man. The world is getting ready to be in for a real big shock soon come, man. Real soon. It's right around the corner, man. The God of the Bible is going to shock the whole entire world, man, when he give his men that power. And Lord willing, we're up that number, and so what if some didn't believe? Seeing is believing. Best of, blessed are those that haven't seen and believed, man. That's what the scriptures tell us. <clears throat> St. Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. But Yahweh shall beheld them, and said unto them, with men, this is impossible. Men getting spiritual power. A man can't give you spiritual power. 
with Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh but with Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh all things are possible. So sit back and wait. The scriptures tell us to wait, then we wait. Then we wait, man. Because the vision, many of these prophecies are set for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely, aka truly, come. Spiritual power is coming, man. The God of the Bible is going to lift up a standard against these devils, man. Do you believe? Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakudash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bear. Spiritual power, Shalom.